Hey guys, today we're doing a foundation first impression and this is on the brand new Sunday Riley foundation. This is called the Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. Sunday Riley is mostly a skincare brand. I think that's kind of how they started out. Um, you can buy it at Sephora and there's been a lot of hype around this uh, new foundation on Instagram so I had to try it out. I ordered this online. It comes in a tube like this which I love and it does have a pump which is really nice. You get 1.08 fluid ounces which is a little tiny bit more than like a normal foundation which just gives you the regular one fluid ounce and it was 54 Canadian dollars I believe so it'd be a little bit cheaper in the States. So the main claims of this foundation are natural looking, long wear, lightweight, satin matte finish, and medium to full coverage. It also says that it is free of a lot of like bad ingredients such as cyclopentasiloxane, synthetic fragrance free, talc free, gluten free, paraben free, and also cruelty free. So if you guys are wondering um, that's great. So I got the shade 100, which is the, I think, one of the two lightest shades. This 100 shade is supposed to be a golden undertone, and then I think the next shade, uh, I'll say up, but I think it's probably about an equal fairness, but just with more of a cooler undertone, I'm thinking. I have swatched this. I got this in the mail yesterday, and I put a little bit on my hand. I think it is going to be okay for my skin tone. I'm not sure that it's super fair, but we'll see once it's on my face. Just to give you guys some swatches here. So this is the Sunday Riley foundation that I'm trying out today. This one is the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair. This is, what is this? Josie Moran Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation in RG5. And this one is the newer NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Gobi. The directions say just to apply one to two pumps um, with your favorite foundation brush or tool. I feel like on the brand's Instagram account, I saw a lot of using fingers to apply. So I don't know, I guess we'll try with the sponge first. I haven't applied a primer or anything. I just applied like a moisturizer when I got out of the shower, which was like probably close to an hour ago. Here is what the shade 100 looks like. Definitely golden. I wouldn't say it's super yellow, but it's kind of like a mix between a yellow and a peachy undertone, but it's certainly not pink or neutral even at all. This side first, it feels very creamy. Um, it honestly feels very similar to the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which obviously has a similar packaging. From the swatches online and on their um, Instagram page, I thought it was going to be more watery than this, um, which I actually prefer usually. I really like a watery foundation such as the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Um, but this is certainly, you know, a little bit thicker, a little bit creamier. I can feel like the moisturizer in it almost. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the one half of my face versus nothing. I think it looks really good. I don't think that it is, I don't even know if I would give it a medium coverage. I feel like with the one and a half, almost one and a half pumps that I used for this side of my face with the sponge, I'm really only getting somewhere between a light to medium coverage. Obviously, even out my skin tone, okay but you know, there is some natural redness coming through and then obviously it didn't cover any of my moles, freckles or like acne scars. So I'm okay with that amount of coverage, but just to give you guys a heads up, I don't think that this is a full coverage product. Um, I will try to just build it up with my finger kind of. Yeah, I mean, that didn't do a whole lot. But, you know, it looks good. I, I do feel like I can see it on my skin. It's not like the most natural foundation product that I've ever used, but, you know, it looks nice. So I'm gonna try a brush, I guess. 
This is the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush, number 56. Okay, so I definitely prefer this with a brush actually. Um, I feel like you just don't need as much product because I only did one pump um, for this side of my face and I'm not going to use it all. Whereas I used almost a pump and a half on this side of my face with a sponge. I'm not sure it gave that much more coverage with a brush. It hasn't really set down yet. I feel like at this point, it still could transfer very easily. Okay, so now that I have it on both sides of my face, I mean, it looks good. I mean, I don't, I don't have any like complaints about it. It doesn't look super cakey or anything. Although I do feel like I can see the foundation on my face, um, especially in places where I have a bit more texture, such as like kind of between my eyebrows, if that will ever focus. There we go. I think it looks pretty good on my cheeks and actually it looks pretty good on my nose too. I don't think that it accentuated my pores really in any way. It doesn't look dry, it doesn't feel dry. Um, it also doesn't look or feel super matte. Again, it does remind me a lot of the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, except for I do prefer this one so far because this one I actually found um, accentuated my dryness and texture a little bit more, and I don't really use this IT Cosmetic CC Cream very much because of that. So at this point, I'm feeling like you could really have any skin type with this. Now, one of the claims on the on the actual packaging, it says controls oil, but never dehydrates. Um, but of course I do have oily skin, so I will be testing this out. As of now, I still feel like it could transfer off. You know, it's been like over five minutes since I finished applying it. And I do feel like it could still transfer pretty easily. Although I do think it's better. So it might continue to get better. I mean, this one might be one that you want to set with a powder um, just to stop this kind of transfery feeling, but I don't know if I have enough time to do a wear test today, but I will 100% wear this tomorrow and wear it through a full work day. So full nine hours of being at work and running around. So I'll be putting it to the test one way or another and I will let you guys know how it wears. Okay, hey guys, I'm doing the wear test today on this Sunday Riley foundation. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like at the beginning of the day. I literally just finished applying this like maybe 15 minutes ago. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty good. I feel like, I feel like it has, you know, set down I'm not really feeling that like transfery feeling that I, you know, was worried about, but I mean, I think it looks good. I feel like I'm already starting to get a little bit oily. So, I mean, it's really been, you know, a matter of minutes already. So I'm kind of worried, especially since I actually need this foundation to last a little bit longer today because I'm doing like a work thing after work and I'm probably not going to be home until... I don't know, like 9 or 10 o'clock, and it is only 8 a.m. right now. I'm just about to go to work. It looks pretty good. I feel like I do have more natural-looking foundations than this, um, which, you know, I, I think I said yesterday when I was doing my first impressions, but we'll see how it goes in terms of oily skin. I didn't put, like, a setting powder on my face, and I also didn't use a primer today, so we'll see how this wears. I'll see you later. Hey guys, I am back. The foundation has literally been on for 14 hours. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. And I actually feel like I'm not as oily as I thought I was gonna be. Um, I mean, I'm certainly shiny, like there's no doubting that, but it's not too bad and I feel like like I still have like bronzer on, like I feel like it actually was decently long wearing. And also like for being 
a foundation that doesn't feel super drying or mattifying or anything, I kind of feel like it didn't do a terrible job um, in terms of oil control. I mean, it didn't keep me matte by any means, but I just, I don't know, it doesn't look that bad. I feel like it didn't, this probably won't focus very well, but I feel like it didn't separate really badly or anything. It's kind of just, it's kind of just shiny. Even like under where my glasses were, I feel like, yes, it did rub off, but it's not like a slimy mess. And honestly, it didn't settle into my lines like that badly. This line is usually a lot more pronounced, so yeah, I'm kind of impressed with that. I think that this is best for somebody who wants more of a minimal coverage. If you have dry skin, it does feel moisturizing, um, but also if you have more of a combo skin, you know, it didn't, it didn't hold up too badly um, with the oils. So this is getting like a kind of thumbs up from me. I don't hate it, I don't love it, but not a bad foundation to try out. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,